Hey guys, Ryan May here, back with another figure review. Today is on the DC Collectibles, uh, Icons, Batman, Last Rights, uh, figure today. Um, get through this, uh, box quickly. See there, it's got, uh, it says DC Comics, Icons, with a Batman symbol in the middle. DC, collect uh, DC Collectibles. Has the warning labels and stuff. Says Batman. This is number one right there. Has Batman logo on the top. Uh, warning labels on the bottom. Other side here says number one. Has another Batman symbol. Says DC Comics icons. Batman Last Rights. Jerry's uh, Sacraments. I think is the one who did the sculpting on this one. DC Collectibles. On the back here has a picture of a. Uh, some of the other figures in the wave, that being Batman, Dead Man, um, Green Arrow, and Mr. Miracle. Um, right here it says designed by Ivan Reyes uh, and sculpted by uh, Paul Harding. I guess that's who did, did the sculpting on this. Anyway, let's take a quick. Uh, and obviously, you see the figure displayed there in the package. Um, you see everything here. Anyway, uh, let's take a quick break and around the package. See how everything comes with in detail. Take a question of the figure. So here's Batman out of the package. Awesome figure. He's fun to pose around. I only have him in the pose right now because the right leg on mine is unfortunately already loose. But other than that, pretty awesome little figure. Glad I got it so far. Um, before I get into the figure himself, let's get into his accessories. First off, we'll start with this uh, little instruction booklet here. This got right there shows how to change out some of the stuff here. Dead man, there's dead man. You put his, I guess his up, upper torso over any figure you want. That there, you can just show the arms of the green arrow. And inside here, it shows how you can put the grapple gun arm on the Batman there. And of course, here he comes. Here he comes with his other accessories, which I haven't pulled out of the tray yet. But I'll do that right now. See here, he has two oh, batarangs. See that there? Pretty cool looking. Nice. Solid black, but nice sculpt there. Pretty cool. Uh, he also comes with two sets of hands here. These are both gripping hands. I'll show you how to put them on. Uh, switch out the hands a little bit later, but uh, let's put in one of the batterings. And yeah, it, he, it will, the hand will grip the battering pretty well. Pretty cool. Um, and he also comes with also comes with a grapple gun here. I'll show you right now. I'm gonna get the tape off here. Should have did it off camera, but I didn't. So it is what it is. Um. Also has this, like I said, grapple gun line launcher hand here. Sculpted with the line launcher in hand there. Pretty cool. Has a little string. So you know, I guess you can have him in. Launching poses, which is cool, which is what I might do. So, pretty cool. I'll show you how to switch this hand into your hand a little bit. But uh, let's get into the figure itself. So, here is the Batman. Awesome looking there. I like the head sculpt. It's a little blue paint on the side of mine, but it's not too bad. Pretty clean line work. Not a lot of like trace shading or anything, but clean you see the emblem right there belt there pretty nice the shorts right down to the boots there shiny I like how the uh, they use a glossier blue paint for the uh, boots and the gloves there the spikes on the sides there feet on the gauntlets I like it, you know, pliable cape here. It's pretty nice. I'd prefer cloth capes, but it's still not bad. Um, that up there, you can see the belt goes all the way around. Back butt there. For the ladies, there you go. Uh, 
pretty nice, you know. I like the sculpting here. He's not too huge and bulky, but he, for the, at the same time, this particular one is still kind of get still kind of reminiscent. At least the costume is of uh, Jim Lee Batman, which kind of what drew me to it. Even though this is actually around the same time as the R.I.P. storyline, right before they killed him off for a little while, which was not happy with. So, pretty cool. Still, I like the way this looks. Pretty decent. But uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna switch out the hands right now, and then I'll show you the articulation. So you just get in there. And these hands come out relatively. Well, they're a little stiff, but come on, still not too bad. With this one. And there you go. Pop that out. There's a peg on the inside of the hand there. And and you just kind of pop it in there, and you can have a better ring in this hand if he wants to. And pop out this hand. Here we go. Pop that out. <clears throat> And peg in the uh, line launching hand. There we go. Pretty cool. There you go. So you can do some line launching pose now. Cool. Do 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 do. Getting dizzy. Help, Alfred. Help. So let's get into the actual articulation of the figure now. So for articulation, head doesn't go up that much, it goes down more. That, side to side a little bit. Oh, and head popped off. And there's a little bit of a pivot in there a little bit. Uh, arm swivel 360, but don't go as far as that because of the way the cape is. Um, don't join elbows. Wrist swivel 360. Hinge up, hinge up and down a little bit. Doesn't really have a waist crunch, he has more of an abdomen rocker there. Ah, right, there it is actually. Crunches forward that far. Crunches back that far, like I said. Swivel side to side there. Uh, most, mostly up on the top of the abdomen right there. See that there? Uh, legs go out this far. So you can do the splits. Kicks forward that far. Those doesn't really go too far back. Um, he's got double jointed knees, and uh, he's got a boot cut right there. You see that there? And uh, ankles go down, up, side to side, and ankle pivot. And he's got peg holes on the bottom feet, so pretty good articulation. So for a uh, DC Icon figure, these are supposed these are supposed to actually um, compare to Marvel Legends. I don't know how much height wise, we'll about to find out, but uh, like I said, so for a DC Icons figure, Batman stands about, in about five and a half, six inches. But uh, let's, uh, yeah, about uh, five and a half, six inches, but uh, let's get some side comparisons. So here's DC Icons Batman next to my uh, NECA 1989 Michael Keaton Batman and my uh, NECA Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, Christopher Reeve Superman figure. As you can see here he's shorter than both of them, so he will not fit in your NECA display. And if you haven't seen my review of the uh, Christopher Reeve Superman, uh, please check that out. And here he is next to my DC Collectibles Arrow TV show Arrow figure. As you can see here, uh, Arrow is taller. And here he is next to my DC Collectibles Batman Animated Series Batman and Catwoman. As you can see here, he's on the same height, actually maybe a little bit taller, so he will not fit in your Batman animated TV series display. So here he is next to my Star Wars Black Series Return of Jedi Luke, Empire Strikes Back Yoda, Empire Strikes Back Return of Jedi Darth Vader, uh, Battlefront Imperial Shock Trooper, um, Star Wars Episode 7 Cowboy Rain, and Captain Phasma. You can see here you're sh shorter than most of these, so he will not fit in your uh, Star Wars Black Series display. Ah, actually, he might be able to. 
I guess you can kind of get away with it depending on the pose. Probably get away with Fender and Scale with your Star Wars Black Series if you choose to. And here he is next to my, since he's right next to him, uh, here he is next to my uh, DC Collectibles uh, Batman Arkham Knight Batman. As you see here, uh, Arkham Knight Batman is taller, so he will not fit in your DC Collectibles display. And here he is next to my uh, Mattel uh, Batman Classic TV Series uh, Animus Batman. You see here, Animus Batman is a little bit taller. So is the Julie Noir Catwoman and the uh, Yvonne Craig Batgirl. By a little bit though, so so I guess he can kind of fit in your uh, classic uh, Mattel Batman classic TV series display. And here he is next to my uh, movie master, Dark Knight Rises Batman. As you see, uh, they're almost the same height. I think the Dark Knight Rises Batman is a little bit taller, so I guess he can kind of fit in your movie master's display. And here he is next to my DC uh, Universe Classics Batman. You can see here, he is a little bit shorter. I guess they're more or less they uh, you he can fit in your DC, DC Universe Classics display. And here he is next to my Batman Unlimited New 52 Batman. Talk paint, you can see more or less the same height. And here he is next to my DC Multiverse uh, 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from Batman Returns, and the um, Multiverse 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. Unmasked variant and see he is taller than these guys, so he will not fit in your multiverse display. And just because I've already shown him with other figures on my Batman display, might as well show him with these ones. Here he is next to my Kenner Quick Change Bruce Wayne Batman, uh, Michael Keaton Batman, um, Crime Attack Batman, Multiverse Dark Knight Rises Batman, Batman Returns Show Five for Catwoman, uh, Val Kilmer Batman Forever Batman, and 89. Uh, original 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, and of course the uh, Mattel DC Superheroes Batman. In the box there. You see he is shorter than all these, and I mean he, you see he is taller than all these, so he won't fit in your classic Kenner uh, Batman display. Or the uh, Mattel or um, Hasbro, I think uh, uh, DC Superheroes display. Still pretty cool. And here he is next to Mike Kamek, uh Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. Hot Toys, X-Men, Dead Speech, Past, you Dragon Wolverine, Toriyami, Ryoko, Sacho Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, uh, Turner Jedi, Jedi Knight, Luke Skywalker, Real Toys, Raven Vincent Price, Sacho Collectibles, Barry Go See Dracula, and Sideshow uh, Collectibles, Silver Screen, Found in the Opera. And see here, he's shorter than all these, so you will not fit in your comic, uh, Sacho or Hot Toys display. And here he is next to my Sideshow Collectibles. Um, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship in the Ring, Legos Greenleaf, um, Central Collectible, Star Wars, Heroes of Rebellion, Alum, Snow Shoes Bunny, uh, Padme Amidala, Central Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, uh, Anakin Skywalker, and the, uh, Central Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, um, Clone Wars Commander, Omega Kenobi with the Central Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, Revenge of the Sith, um, Omega Kenobi, um, uh, Uber Head Sculpt. Sacho Collectibles over the Jedi Qui-Gon Jinn and Sancho Collectibles Army of Darkness Ash figures and see here he is shorter than all these so we would not fit in your Sancho Collectibles uh, Lord of the Rings Star Wars or Army of Darkness display and here he is next to my um, Star Wars Episode 1 uh, Phantom Menace Prime Minister Dow as you can see Batman is taller and finally for a Marvel Legends comparison here he is next to my um, Marvel Legends Rock and Raccoon Beetle Figure Wave Scarlet Spiders you can see um, Kinda, they're almost the same height, but I think uh, Scar, yeah, Scarlet Spider is a little bit taller, so he can more or less fit in your um, in your Marvel Legends display, depending on the pose. But pretty cool. So all in all, this is a great figure. It's fun to pose around. Um, has some good detail. Um, some cool accessories. Um, pretty, like I said, it's pretty cool to have a Batman close enough scale to the. Uh, Marvel Legends and with the posability to match. Um, it's not 100% perfect with the uh, with it, but you know, it's it's still pretty good. And like I said, it could, I think they compare a little bit better, at least with the posability with the uh, Marvel Legends and the DC Universe Classics. And the neat thing is, I think these are all different body sculpts for the different characters, unlike the DC Universe Classics, which tend to use the same body mold a lot of the time. So it's pretty cool to have a difference there. Um, 
and I, I'm glad to having another Batman figure from a different storyline, different than the ones I have, and you know I'm happy to have him in the collection. And I definitely recommend it if you're a uh, DC Collectibles fan, uh, Batman fan in general, somebody who wants that has Marvel Legends and wants some Mar DC Comics figures in the same scale or close enough in the same scale, definitely probably be happy with these. And like I said, definitely recommend it uh, if you're a uh, Batman fan. Um, anyway, this is my quick review on the DC Collectibles uh, icons. Um, Batman Last Rights action figure. Hope you like it. Hope you're helpful. If you did, please like, run, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Definitely appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter or on Instagram. As always, my Facebook profile is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Last Rights for Justice.